The fate of the Russian Navy's Kirov-class nuclear-powered cruisers is a hot topic on the military forums around the world. In April 2019, the Russian Navy made a difficult decision to eliminate two heavy battle cruisers, Admiral Yusakov and Admiral Lazarev, along with four Delta III-class nuclear submarines, instead of upgrading them to save money. The ships were originally planned to be reserved in the 2000s and will be reactivated in the future, but Russia said the overhaul was no longer an effective option. The scrapping process is expected to be completed before 2022 and will cost around $11 million. Thus, in the near future, Russia will have only two Kirov-class ships, the Peter Veliki and Admiral Nakhimov, which are currently modernized. The Russian Navy currently wants to focus on building new generation warships equipped with precision strike weapons to serve combat operations across the oceans. Kirov is the only nuclear power cruiser class of the former Soviet Navy and the Russian Navy today, and is also the largest and heaviest nuclear power cruiser in the world. Among Martin warships, they are second in size only to large aircraft carriers and of similar size to a World War II era battleship. The Kirov class was designed by Soviet Union in the 1970s. Four warships of this class were built between 1974 and 1986. The fifth ship was planned to be built, but financial difficulties and the collapse of the Soviet Union caused the plan to be abandoned. The Soviet Navy currents ships carrier assassins with the expectation that it alone would be enough to take on the entire enemy fleet. But in reality, this was very unlikely. The appearance of the Kiro class played a key role in the recommissioning of the Iowa class battleships by the United States Navy in the 1980s. The length is 252 meters, the beam is 28.5 meters, the draft is 9.1 meters. The standard and full load displacement are 24,300 tons and 28,000 tons, respectively. Complement personnel up to 710 sailors. So far, the Kirov class is still the largest surface warships in the world. They are only inferior to heavy aircraft carriers. The sheer size of the ships means that they have plenty of space for a command, control, and communications outfit, and could serve as effective fleet flagships. Kirov superstructure is clearly divided with the main section in the midship and the secondary structure at the rear. The main mast and the bridge is fitted with the main sensors and various communication systems. The smoke funnel is located at the frontal superstructure and combined with the main mast assembly. The bow exhibited a noticeable upwards angle, which gave the Kirov a distinct appearance along the horizon. Most weapon systems are located in front of the massive superstructure. At the start of the ship was the helipad and helicopter hangar below deck, approaching the aircraft deck via an elevator. The hangar can accommodate up to 5 Ka-27 helicopters. Kirov's propulsion system is a combined nuclear and steam propulsion driving two shafts. Powering the ship were two Kn-3 nuclear marine propulsion with two GT3A 680 steam turbines, providing 140,000 shaft horsepower. Kirov can reach a maximum speed of up to 32 knots. The range is unlimited if using only nuclear power, and 1,000 nautic miles if using combined propulsion at 30 knots. This generation of warships is considered to have the most formidable firepower in the world. 
capable of destroying an aircraft carrier fleet. The Kirov class main weapons are 20 P700 granite missiles mounted in deck, designed to engage large surface targets. Air defense is provided by 12 of Tupper S300F launchers with 96 missiles and a pair of OSA MA batteries with 20 missiles each. Peter Veliki carries some S300 FM missiles and is the only ship in the Russian Navy capable of ballistic missile defense. The ships have some differences in sensor and weapon squids. Kirov came with SS and 14 anti submarine warfare missiles, while on subsequent ships, these were replaced with three K95 Kinzer surface to air missile systems. The Kinzer installation is in fact mounted further forward of the OSS and 14 mounting in the structure directly behind the blast shell for the bow mounted RPQ anti submarine warfare rocket launcher. Kirov and Franger had eight 30mm AK630 closing weapon systems, which were supplanted with the Cortic Air Defense System or later ships. Other weapons are the automatic 130mm AK-130 gun system, 10 533mm torpedo chips, and UDAF-1, with 40 anti-submarine rockets and two sec cheaper RMPU-1000 launchers. Russia is developing a new anti-ship missile to equip Kirov's called the 2M22 Circon, which is capable of traveling a hypersonic speed out to at least 620 miles. With such power, these cruisers are the beasts on the ocean. Not satisfied, Russia is planning to upgrade these nuclear cruisers to be more and more terrifying in the context of Western weapons technology is developing strongly. Despite being a mobile missile arsenal, if confronted with an American carrier fleet, it was a different story. Kirov is equipped with a number of sensors, including Voskov MR-800 Search 3D radar mounted at the foremast, and the Fregat MR-710 series 3D Search radar along the main mast. There are also two palm front navigation radar. Kirov is also equipped with an important sonar array, including the horse jaw LF horse sonar and the variable depth sonar system through the horse tail VDS. Electronic warfare and decoys, including two PK-2 decoy dispensers. However, these radar systems are limited by the reconnaissance rings beyond the horizon to guide long-range anti-ship missiles. They are effective at murderous rings and cannot guide the granite missile to its full range. The US aircraft carriers, on the other hand, have the support of the E-2 Hawkeye Airborne Early Warning Aircraft, which extend the horizon range to 600 km, creating a silent reconnaissance capabilities. In a hypothetical confrontation situation, it is certain that the E-2 will detect Kirov from afar to guide FA-18 fighter jets to take off and intercept. With these conditions, the Kirov will have little chance of surviving a direct confrontation with the US aircraft carrier. It is difficult to become a carrier assassin. My video of Kirov class battle cruiser ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.